So, well, this morning, uh, and we sort of wanted to make a video. Uh, it's the day after Easter. Yes, and I'm uh, talking about working with the spirits. Because after I left yesterday and I was doing my spirit dialogues at night, I found out that my sisters had been here and watched the video we made. Which sisters uh, are they, talking well, they're, about? Well, they're spirits. They, the they're over ones? on the other side. And one of them had not been over there very long, and the other had been over there over 20 years. And she wanted to come and see, see me, and she'd never met him. And uh, I'm sorry, so, I didn't hear uh, either. I didn't know they said. came down, and uh, I had the urge to make this video. Well, I'm sure part of the reason I had the urge was sensing that maybe sensing that they were in the area and wanted to show them something. And she said my sister was impressed with this video we made because we were talking about a very difficult subject, bisexuals and married bisexuals. And she and I had, uh, Mar uh, my sister had died uh, recently. We discussed this a number of times. Uh, we'd argued about it. Uh, had very strong disagreements about it because, and, but anyway, uh, I felt that she was going to try to research it over, as soon as she recovered from her passing, she was wanting to research. And so here she was down here and she was very impressed with uh, him because he was able to handle this subject so well. Uh, and of course he is a very unusual person, guy. <laughs> That, uh, I would appreciate it when, when, <laughs> that you're, dead, I to when your dead relatives to. show up. I kind of like to know if they were here. You know, <laughs> he didn't know I, they were here, of course. I don't offer and they, them a beer. They or had to like leave that. because. <laughs> Can you drink beer, honey? <laughs> yeah. And he didn't know they were here. I did not but, know uh, that. But my sisters God, are very I... impressed with the level of his understanding because it is unusual, very unusual. Uh, because there's very few people that can handle this subject. Not theater people, uh, intellectuals, homosexuals. Uh, I have not found hardly anyone that can handle it. And uh, my plays, uh, the plays that I wrote on this subject, <gasps> you know, uh, I would try to submit them to some theater companies. Oh, it was just, well, they would no more touch him. They wouldn't touch him. So that meant to me that most people in this world, theater, artistic directors, probably not even New York could handle this subject. I know. Of... <laughs> well, now, I, otherwise I, I would be, the, I be the, the one to tell you this. But anybody <laughs> that has a dead relative show up and think that New York can't this handle This is very it. New York can handle any. Oh, Come on. New York. Oh, listen, me. that's a myth. Show that's a myth. New York. Ones. As, uh, they, they feel they're so superior. They don't even know that things are going on on YouTube that they couldn't, they haven't even touched. Uh, now my videos are... There isn't are, anything uh, in New York that... They, are, are, they are subjects they that they... have everything. No, they haven't or I'd be there. They don't touch me. I'd be there. My plays are just too hot for them to handle. They're too complex. They can't understand them. You know, they can't understand a simple thing like your father is bisexual. He's not homosexual. He hasn't come out of the closet. He's a respectable married man. But uh, a big he, again, uh, folks. Yeah, a big but he has these uh, tastes. We don't know what he is. We don't know whether he's homosexual. We don't know whether he's heterosexual. He doesn't know himself probably. He's bisexual. Well, now there's this big area and there's women that are married to these guys. Well, the reason why this subject doesn't get touched is because most of the, the bisexuals are big, powerful, rich, or whatever men who don't want this subject talked about and they will suppress it. And so artistic directors, even in New York, they got to have a lot of money to do this. Well, and if they got uh, bisexuals in this country that do not want that subject discussed on stage or anywhere else, they're not going to give the money to do it. We'll see the problem. They're not going to, they're not going to be the audience for it. 
because the people in America, you know, they're, they're way too, uh, if it's out of style or it's not accepted, uh, you haven't, oh, it would you be haven't a talked bomb. About, it would, it would. You haven't talked about my problem. <laughs> What's that? I am a pass by sexual. <laughs> oh, no, you're I not. I passed by You se- have no, no, I have passed no, no, by sexual. Oh, yeah, you passed it up. <laughs> I passed by sexuality somewhere in my 50s, folks. That's like 20 years ago. No, no, no. You never were. You have no idea what that is. I passed by sexual. And, <laughs> No, no. Nature does that to men, oh. not to women. Oh, mm. oh. Nature yeah. plays right. a nasty trick on man, and man's looking in his. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Erectile dysfunction. It's called. It's not bisexual. It's erectile dysfunction, and uh, anyway. Nature plays that on you. Yeah. Know. Well, anyway, uh, that's the reason. The main reason why. Bisexuality among married men is not is not the subject of plays. And now I'm writing my memoirs. Whether my memoirs ever get published, I have no idea. It's been extremely difficult to to write these memoirs, to get them out there because of the subject. It is taboo. I mean, everybody's trying to stop me from writing this. Uh, theater artistic directors would not think of doing a play on this subject. They wouldn't do it in Hollywood, they wouldn't do it in Phoenix, they wouldn't do it in Los Angeles, they would not do it in New York. Satisfied. Nobody will look at my videos on this subject. Uh, It's just taboo. But it happens. It happens a a lot more than people think. But it's just something that, you know, if you accuse a, a, a bisexual, uh, you suspect. Can you hear, like the, my si- dad, you hear the sirens in uh, the background? They're mm-hmm. coming after you again. You can't put this on here. It's... Anyway, uh, and so it's no wonder my family tried to suppress. My mother tried to Telephone suppress this. Ring in Everybody now. was trying to suppress this. Uh, Can you blame them? Well, it was, but it was the truth. It's the truth, and the truth should not be de- suppressed. Is my opinion. The truth sells. <laughs> we think that uh, you know, and something that that's that common Nobody should not be suppressed truth. because the the generally the people who are trying to cover up, who are passing, are very uh, don't want this subject. Ex- they don't want to be exposed. They don't want it talked about. They don't want to admit it. Uh, homosexuals have come out. They're used to it. They are used to ha- fighting uh, people that think this is disgusting, that it's biblically wrong. Uh, they're used to fighting all that. They've banded together and they have been fighting this for years. But bisexuals who are married, who are trying to cover up, they're not used to it. To that they're not used to defending themselves so they don't want to even have to they want to their impulse is to suppress keep the secret don't let this out yes well we know keep that. your wives what from finding it out if you can mm-hmm. and if they do terrorize them well i don't know about terrorize that. them so they won't talk about it i mean if you accuse a bisexual husband you better be prepared for a murder attempt because that is a cause that will cause men to try to murder you more than anything. I tried. I, I, I told bisexuals, but I, I, I thought they were bisexuals. But bisexual boyfriends, fathers of my children, I would say, I think you're. Bi-. Now that was the scariest moment that I could possibly ever experience with them. Is. Uh, accusing them of covering up. <gasps> it's like they are got the attitudes of a of a heterosexual that looks down on this and they've sort of 
acted like that's what they think for so many years that when they're confronted with possible truth about themselves, uh, it just blows their control. They want to leap across and just, and my dad, you know, I never did get to accuse him because he would terrify me. Well, he's he scared crap out of you. <laughs> well, of course he would. He's, you were scared. He died you like, were, uh, you might be a daughter, but scared. don't think I won't knock you down. You were scared for your whole life. Of course I was. Of course I way, was. He would act the so spirit, ferocious. The, the spirits ever so get, angry if the, you even approach the subject. Do spirits ever get angry? <sighs> no. You so, the Bible. there was no confronting him. He, uh, and, and of course, guys like this and in the in the community, nobody's going to accuse him of that. Nobody. I mean, it wouldn't matter because they're dangerous people. They're they're going to because of this conflict inside him. You know, a gay guy. I'm not near so scared of him. He's come out. Uh, if I accuse, you know, if I talk to him about being homosexual, he's come out. He's ready to. Yes, I'm homosexual, uh, and I, I'm talking about it, but the guy that's hiding it, he's not going to do that. He's just going to attack. What's this guy he's to just, do with these two sisters he's just, showing up? Well, that is what they, uh, my sister had to realize. And then the, the families of these guys, like my sister's, uh, they don't want it to come out either because it's going to be a disgrace. Their dad is being accused of that horrible, terrible crime of having homosexual feelings and homosexual behavior. What family wants that? I don't know. I, I imagine Thomas Jefferson wasn't too what? keen yes. on the fact that his family and knew that he had a relationship with one of his colored slaves oh, and I had know. a kid. I know. And he had more than one too, by the way. So. Well, that that doesn't even come but close to what, what a father close. that That's might that, be you know, accused I mean, of yeah, having yeah, sex with close. the married, with the hired man. That doesn't even come close. Wait and then a minute. The children. <laughs> wait a minute. The children. Wait a yeah, second now. Uh, now, wait a minute. He's feel hired, that they've right? been disgraced. This man is not a slave, right? No. Right. On the other hand, right. this woman was a slave, so she wasn't even hired. She was. Yes, but she was a woman. No, when your dad. Well, how do you expect you to have dad kids with a guy? Of homosexual behavior. That is one of the worst things that any child could ever accuse their parent of. Believe me, because, and that's going to make that parent angrier, even if it might be the truth. It's going to make him angrier. It's going to make him more in danger of knocking you down, stomping on you, or whatever he has to do. Try to shut, you know, shut people up. Don't let them think that they can get away with uh, saying this. And, well, but I said, I said that the uh, family, if they have a father like this, they should be able to write about it. They shouldn't have to suppress it. Cover it up. I hate cover up. And there's people covering up these kind of secrets all over America. We can't tell that. My mother told me, you don't want to be, t and she ordered me not to be telling this, not uh -huh. to tell. Even it, though it she hated hitting. my dad, she didn't want that told because she knew that that was the worst thing that uh, you that could summon. ever, ever accuse your parent of doing. It would be regarded by everybody as the worst because they hadn't fought this battle of, ha of admitting that they had homosexual feelings and they had acted on them. That's the reason why they married women and covered it up because they couldn't admit it. It was too bad. It was too horrible to have to admit. So they married women to keep from having to admit it. The, the brave ones that did admit where, around where I grew up they were disgraced. They'd usually have to leave the state. They would be called names and and uh, told that they were uh, the scum of the earth. So it's no wonder anybody didn't want to admit that they were had those kind of feelings and would deny it. Deny, deny, deny. It's just like a criminal when he comes to court. It was deny, 
deny? No, no, no. You, you're missing the whole point. When a criminal goes to court, they have accusations and allegations. Yes. And the first thing the attorney's going to say, prove it. Prove it. Prove it, yes. So that prove is it. known as not <laughs> guilty until proven guilty. In our law, right. I, I, even when I was growing up, for some, I, I don't know where the hell you grew up, but in the laws that have, we would rather let ten guilty men get off free <laughs> than to do to one innocent guy. Now, <laughs> yeah. see, that's the way the law, and that's the reason I didn't go into law because I think, what the hell is that all about? And of course, <laughs> now our whole society has changed for the past 50 mm -hmm. years. You are guilty until proven innocent. Well, the problem is, is that uh, nobody's going to say, yeah, I'm guilty, you know, stick it to me. Prove it. Well, and see, what happened to me is it's that I, got, I got molested by one of the hired I men. Know, one we of know, the five men. Years. Okay, now this is what happens when you have a parent having bisexual relations. Is anybody who has illicit relations there's always uh, a, a, a bigger temptation to go for the underage, to go, uh, even to get to children. Yeah, you're bigger this than This is what that. happened. You smacked the crap This is out what of happened. It. My dad brought a guy around. He was a bisexual, but he was also prone to, to. Uh, is this going on YouTube? With children. Is this going and, on YouTube? And uh, so uh, he brought him too close, and he was on the property, and, and he was very angry at my dad. Is this going on and, YouTube? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. So he was very angry at oh. my dad, so he grabbed me. This is the reason why I insisted on telling this. It's because my dad, being a bisexual, brought this guy into the, ha into the intimacy of his family circle by hiring him. So he was working on the ranch, and I was running around the the grounds, and uh, he was did angry you, at my did dad. Did you still have your diaper? So he on sees. Or what? Well, I was only five, and so he sees me. Okay, did you still have your diapers me, on or not? I mean. And so I and I I suspected even at the time that he grabbed me that he and my dad were involved because of the behavior that they had just done so much that it actually, actually a five year old could suspect it. A smart one, I was mean, great, but. Listen, I've, smart, seen, I've seen my dad I suspected. kiss me, and I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is why I said, and then there was another hired man that might, made my dad very angry that I thought that he'd been involved with, and he used uh, a contact with me inappropriate to get revenge. You could just see, well, I can't hurt him, but I can hurt his daughter. My dad would have shot somebody that riled him like a like a a uh, hired man. But you could get at the daughter. She wasn't armed. She didn't have a gun. So this is why I insisted that uh, when you cover up bisexual behavior, it's a secret bisexual. That's a defensive posture. Yeah, <laughs> you you. Uh, may be covering up a lot of other crimes. Crimes that involve the children. And that's why a, chi a child like me, who had to put up with this while in childhood. How come I missed all this? I really, uh, I really missed it. I, I don't know. I was going to, when I got old enough, I was going to talk about so this. Nice. I just... was going to bring it to the attention of the world and say, don't cover up this kind of behavior in your, in your community, in your uh, parents' marriages. Because you're probably covering up other stuff like child molesting. So what are the children supposed to do to get molested? Just say, that's okay. We've got to protect the family relations what even if I got molested. Even if I got molested, I can sacrifice myself for the family reputation for a lie, to perpetuate the lies, on and on down through and generations. you guys weren't even doing drugs, that's the same No, you part. gotta fight this stuff. You weren't even doing drugs, man. Of course that was You gotta man. fight this stuff. Even as a child, you have to fight it, to save your own life, to save your sanity. So, I'm telling my sister, look, you didn't get molested. 
This is why I'm telling this. Which says to the dead one? All of them. I'm saying, if you want to save your kids from getting some of them from getting morning. molested and other other bad stuff, don't cover this stuff up. Even if you have to talk about your dad. Because your dad was criminally responsible for what he helped happen to you. So that's just like saying, well, if your dad's a bank robber, whatever he does, cover it up. Cover it up. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, you know, they call it aiding and abetting. So that's <laughs> aiding and abetting. That's really yeah. good. We know? don't care. Blood is thicker than water. If our blood commits crimes, we'll cover them up. Don't Gee, cover to me. Oil don't is, cover uh, up. Thicker than water, so it flows. What sometimes. what happens in families when there's this kind of behavior? It's don't because of that. That's a two-minute so, warning. Can't understand that. That's why it happens.